Um, there's a new energy on the panel, for sure. Um, because I'm quite a sensitive person, in case you know, haven't noticed. I I'm really like drawn to whoever is around me. And this time I just feel really free and like almost like I have two new people to look after or like guide in a way. And that's making me focus more, I suppose. And I don't have Louis on the end keep making his laugh or sending his dodgy notes or, you know, all that stuff that used to go on. I feel like 13 years in, I'm, I'm a bit more, um, yeah, a bit more educated on all things, as in song choices, how the show goes, how it will progress, which beforehand I didn't necessarily know. Definitely not in my first season. I was only 24, like uh, Rita. I didn't have a clue how it was going to progress, what was going to be next. So I would put people through, then the next time I saw them, I'd be like, ooh, this time I'm aware of what's to come what I've seen, how, how the standard is in each category, so I won't put people through if I think it's unfair, because I know they're not going to get further, if that makes sense. I'm just a bit more aware and alert and focused, and, as I say, like, guiding these two new people we've got. So, yeah, it's fun, though. I think there was always going to be somebody that was going to be criticised. When I was first announced, I, I replaced Sharon. And I remember literally everyone going, Simon's lost it, he's crazy, why would you put this girl on? She's only been doing this six years, blah, 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 she's 24. There was always going to be something to be said about someone. But I think um, Grimmy's going to be a massive revelation. He's funny, he's smart. He is uh, actually, like I say, crucial to what is happening at the moment in the music world. The shift has gone so far that radio has become more important than ever, actually. So he's in a very, very important position. I think we're giving him energy. Um, we're breathing new. I like yesterday we were teaching him what on fleek means and all the new latest things. Rita's got her own little thing that she does where she says, mash it up, mash it up, mash it up, boom. Simon said last night, I'm going to mash it up, mash it up. So, you know, he's cottoning on. But it doesn't feel like that. I mean, we all respect him, you know. He's been many years in the industry and seen all the changes, had a lot of success. I mean, you can't deny the guy's a genius. So there's just a level of respect there. It's not an age thing, even though we joked about it. I think for the past few years, it's the best standard and quality of talent we've had for three, four years. Unique. Uniqueness is definitely like, one-off people that you see and you just go, I hate to be cliche and cheesy, but the X Factor means something, which is why the show was called it, and it's that, the thing you can't explain, you can't put your finger on, it just makes you feel something. That's why when people keep saying to me, what are you looking for? I haven't come here this year with a preconceived idea of what I'm looking for, or ha I haven't looked at the market and thought, we need this, we need that. I'm going off literally how I feel when I, s when I listen to and have a conversation with these people face to face. The groups this year are the best they've ever been. We've literally got three groups that I would take straight right now from this first audition to the live shows, and I would have no qualms in doing so. That for me has never been part of the show. That's part of whatever the circus is beyond the show. For me, it's about the contestants and those people singing on the stage that night. It's not about who I'm wearing or what dress I'm wearing. So they can do the Star Wars thing. I'll focus on my contestants. <laughs>